Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're experiencing issues with the Windows Store, specifically the error message I'm going to have in the title of the video, the 0x803F8001 error, if something went wrong, and it just gives you this random error code, and that's probably how you ended up on this tutorial. So if you're coming across this issue, this tutorial will be for you, and we're going to jump into it by opening up the Start menu, left click on Start button one time, type in Troubleshoot, best match should come back with Troubleshoot settings, left click on that one time, On the right side, you want to go where it says get up and running, just scroll down on this page pretty far here, and you want to select Windows Store Apps, troubleshoot problems that may prevent Windows Store Apps from working properly. Just click on that, and then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. So it might give you a suggestion here about what it wants you to do. Just do whatever it suggests here and then left click on next. It wants you to reset the apps. Just do whatever it suggests again and then next. So again, it's just very important you follow along with whatever it suggests here. And then it might say restart your PC. Changes have been made. Please save your work and restart your PC after the troubleshooter finishes. Left click on next. Again, I'm kind of breezing through it because you guys might have specific issues that are not going to be in this video. So I just want to put that out there so you can actually see it will give you a list here. In my case, I don't have a Microsoft account linked to it. Crashing apps not fixed, but some of the stuff might be resolved once you restart your computer. So just restart your computer once you've run this troubleshooting utility. Hopefully it has resolved the problem. If it has not, there's another thing we can go ahead and try for this tutorial, and that would be to actually re-register the Windows Store app, and there's going to be a couple of different PowerShell commands I'm going to have in the description of my video we're going to run right now. First one, we're going to just go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in PowerShell. Best match should come back with Windows PowerShell. Right click on it, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now that our PowerShell window is open, I'm going to have two PowerShell commands that both start with get and then a slash app x package. You want to copy the first one out of my description. Hopefully that's all you're going to need. You might have to go to the second one if the first one doesn't resolve the problem, but we're going to try the first one for right now. And once you've copied it from my description, so just highlight over it from my description, right click copy, or if you want to use the control C shortcut on your keyboard, whichever you want to do is fine. You want to head up to the top of the PowerShell window here, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. I've just pasted the first one in that's in my description of my video. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this command. This will take a couple minutes to run here. So just be patient and this might take a couple moments. I'll let you guys know when it's done. It should have a blinking cursor at the white bottom and it should be all finished up here. Hopefully this won't take too long and I will jump back in with the narration once this is done running.
Okay guys, once this is system 32 and there's just a blink cursor after that, that means you're ready to move on to the next step here. So with just restarting your computer at this point, hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing problems, so let's just close out of here. If you did have some red text, don't worry about it. It just means that there might be a few store apps that could not be reset. However, if you saw how many activities were running, if there were three or four out of 50 to 100 operations, don't really worry too much about it. So once that is done, restore your computer, and then hopefully you'll be able to reopen your Windows Store and you won't have this issue. Now, if you do have the issue, open up the Start menu now, type in PowerShell again, Best match again, Windows PowerShell, right click, left click run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Like I said before, there's another PowerShell command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it. Top of the window here, right click on it, left click at it, and left click on paste. Hit enter, let this run. This will take some time, so just be patient. Hey, so you guys can tell that one was definitely a lot quicker. So close out of here, restart your computer once again, and then hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.